All right, friends, we talked about Thanksgiving, and we talked about how Thanksgiving might look a little different this year. We might not be able to see some of our family and friends, but we can certainly be thankful for them. And this story is a little bit about when their Thanksgiving looked a little bit different. It's called, Who Will Carve the, Thanksgiving, or the Turkey This Thanksgiving? And the author is Jerry Pallotta and David Bertowitz. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> All right, friends. Who will carve the turkey this Thanksgiving? Today is Thanksgiving. Well, it's not really, but it is in our story. <laughs> Mom always cooks a wonderful meal, but who will carve the turkey this year? Hmm. Let's see. A killer whale would be a good choice, but why is it staring at me? Yikes! Do you think a whale could carve the turkey, friends? No, I think this story is make believe, don't you? Maybe mom could use a saber tooth tiger, but they are extinct and we'll never find one. A saber tooth tiger means the, uh, they are extinct, it means that we don't see them in the wild anymore. So they're not gonna be able to carve our turkey, huh? And how about a Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, they probably never brush their teeth. Ooh, I hope you're brushing your teeth at home. A polar bear could carve the turkey with one swipe, but quack, his paw might knock it out of the window. Well, that would not be good. A great white shark would be perfect but it would scare the whole house. I think I'd be a little nervous if I saw a great white shark trying to carve our turkey. Leaf cutter ants could carve the turkey, but who wants to eat a zillion tiny pieces? <laughs> See the little ants, friends? That would be silly. Huge elephant tusks are too smooth, and the elephant might eat all the stuffing. I know, piranhas are a possibility, but they would want my fingers and toes for dessert. Oh man. <laughs> Mom could could ask a swordfish to carve the turkey. Watch out, he'll cut the table in half. Uh oh, that would be rough. What are you doing, sneaky coyote? Bring that turkey back right now! <laughs> we could ask a sea lion. That's silly. Stop balancing the turkey on your nose. Can you balance a turkey on your nose, friends? No, me neither. A hippo has too big of a belly, a skunk is too smelly, <laughs> and a moose would tip over the cranberry jelly. <laughs> hey! Look who's here. I guess that settles it. Grandpa will carve the turkey just like every year. Happy Thanksgiving. That was a fun story, friends. And on our back cover of our book, you can see that there are other books that this author has written. If you like this book, you can always check it out from the library.
All right, friends. It is time to do some math work. How do we feel about that? Excited? I know. Math is one of my favorite things to work on here at UPK. So I'm going to come over here so you can see all my papers that I have laid out. Now, you're going to need a paper that looks like this. A paper that looks like this. And a paper that looks like this. All right, friends. If you want to grab those items and probably some scissors and some crayons, you can do so now. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how we play this fun math game and practice our counting, and then you can pause the video and do that with your grown-up. If you see all of your picture cards, these are animals from the story we just read. A polar bear, an elephant, a moose, a killer whale, a saber-toothed tiger, and a T-Rex. And all of those animals are going to hang out at our Thanksgiving table. See? It's a round Thanksgiving table. Is your table at home round or is it square? Is it a circle or maybe a rectangle? Yeah? Mine is a rectangle at my home. And I'm going to pick a whole bunch of friends that are going to come. I have some tigers. I have some polar bears. I definitely have some moose at my table. All right, an elephant. So you pick as many friends as you'd like to have at your Thanksgiving table. Oh no, but look at friends. It's time for them to go get in line at the buffet to get some food. And at this line, I can only have one friend. So I'm gonna choose one friend to go in this line. I'm gonna pretend like it's the mashed potato line. And I think this saber tooth tiger is going to want to go get mashed potatoes. So I'm going to put one tiger next to my one dot. All right, friends, let's go to the next line. Hmm, definitely. Some people are going to be looking for cranberry sauce. Yep, the polar bears are going to get in line for our cranberry sauce. So one polar bear, two polar bears in the line next to our two dots. Can you count them with me, friends? Ready? One, two. Great job. All right, now this line right here, it has room for three friends. Yeah, it's definitely the turkey line, friends. And I'm excited about turkey. So I think the moose are gonna get right in line for that turkey. One, Two, three. Three moose ready for turkey. Can you count them with me? Let's count our dots first. Ready? One, two, three. All right, now let's make sure we have enough moose in line. Are you ready? One, two, three. Three moose ready for some Thanksgiving feast. All right, friends, so that's how we play our math Thanksgiving game. So you can cut out your pictures, you can color them, you can get ready, and you can have them get in line for their Thanksgiving.